launch the Udeploy console and click on Components tab and click Create Component button. Name the component as Ear underscore component. This is the component we will use to receive the Ear package and perform the WebSphere Ear deployment. Leave the default team as it is. Teams is what define the security on the component, explaining security is out of scope for this tutorial. Keep all the other option default and click save button. Once the component here underscore component is created, it should take you to the newly created components page. Navigate to configuration and then component property definitions. This is where we will add the properties needed for the component here underscore component. We will explain about properties more later. For now click on add property button. Name the property as application.source and set the value as application.ear. Next go the process tab of the component ear underscore component. Here we'll set up the various processes for deploying the WebSphere application. Click on create process button. Name the process as stage artifact and change the process type to operational, with version. We chose this because this is a step to download the ear version to target servers. Keep all other option as the default and click on save button. You will be taken back to the process tab and you can see the newly created stage artifact process there. Now we will define that process. Click the edit button next to the stage artifact process. You will be directed to the design page. By default start is the beginning of the flow and finish is the end of flow. Between start and finish we define process. On the left pane type delete file and hit enter key. This will act as filter and show you the step delete files and directories we want easily. Drag the delete files and directories step from the left pane to the design area between start and finish step. This will open the properties of delete files and directories step. Name the step as clean work directory. Set the base directory as dot. By default base directory is $p resource slash work dot dir slash $p component dot name. If the the agent is intelled at slash app slash a deploy, resource slash work dot dir become slash app slash a deploy slash agent slash var slash work. Component name is ear underscore component so the complete path becomes slash app slash a deploy slash agent slash var slash work slash ear underscore component. In the include option set slash. This refers all files to be included. Finally click OK. Back on the design page, on the left pane type download artifacts and hit enter key. Drag the download artifacts step from the left pane to the design area under clean work directory and before finish step. This will open the properties of download artifacts step. Keep all the option default and click OK. Now connect the design as in the diagram. Hold the mouse left button on the start step and drag to clean work directory step. A line is drawn. Now pull a line from clean work directory to download artifacts and then from download artifacts to finish. Lastly click save button on the left pane to save the design. Back on the process tab of ear underscore component underscore server component, click on create process button. Name the process as deployment. Change the process type to deployment. Keep all other options as the default and click save button. You will be taken back to the process tab and you can see the newly created deployment process there. Click the edit button next to the deployment process. You will be directed to the design page. On the left pane type install or update and hit enter key. Drag the install or update application step from the left pane to the design area between start and finish step. This will open the properties of install or update application step. Set the application source as $p application.source. If you remember, we had set application.source value while the year underscore component was created. Set application name as application. This is how the application is going to be named in WebSphere console. 
set the application path as $pwebsphere.installedapps.dir. This is where the ear get deployed on the remote server. This value will set later when we install a deploy agent. Set the option string as required for your application. This can be obtained by following a manual deployment from console and capturing the administrative command output. Finally click OK. Now connect the design as in the diagram. Lastly click save button on the left pane to save the design. When everything is done, on process tab of ear underscore component will have two different processes. Stage artifacts and deployment. In the next section we will create a ear underscore component underscore server component to perform WebSphere operation tasks such as stop server, start server etc.